You play video games eight to 12 hours a day, make 150 a week, spend 100 a quarter on weed. I think I'm doing, uh, I think what I'm doing right now is what I deserve, you know, after everything that I've, I've done in my life for everyone, you know, at a young age, you know, my first job, I forked over every single check. I did that so that way, you know, we had our utilities on. Have you guys ever gone without water? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the worst. The weed smoking isn't a problem. I feel like everything that I do is right. I feel like, you know, just like I said, everything that I've done for this family, for my family. Come on, let, let's be honest with each other. Just man to man here. Do you actually believe that you have the right to rage like this with these people or anybody? You know, my life, like I've been having people throwing blows at me, you know? And so, yeah, you know, I am gonna be on my guard up. I am gonna be, you know, I am gonna be like that. I deserve the lifestyle that I'm living. Okay, but... you, you, you have the right to rage is what you're saying. You know, a, a bits and pieces, a little bit here and there. And you need to recognize that this is a problem. You know, you mom really has do. Blood pressure, and it's not good for her health. But you guys also need to understand that when I, you know, when I smoke weed, I relieve the stress. You know, I calm down to but a lower has scale. But who to fork over your weed when you? We I, also have to pitch in money for your weed. When I refused to do that for you, what did you do? You threw a chair at me. You also got a broken TV. You actually have convinced yourself that you have the right to do that. You have the right to tear up personal property and rage a against your own mother because you had a full-time job at one point in your life. At 16, boiling hot water, you know, in the, in the fireplace for everybody, uh, forking out those checks so that way we wouldn't have to do all that. Well, then, yeah, I do feel that that I, you know, that I, like I said, deserve that lifestyle and, you know. Hey, man, I was living on the street in Kansas City when I was 14 and I never raised my voice to my mother. I never raised my, vo I never raised my voice to my mother in my entire life. And you justifying that because you had to put a paycheck towards utilities just simply doesn't wash. Uh, You're an able-bodied man, 25 years old. You ought to be working a full-time job. You ought to be doing what you can do to take care of yourself. And if you contribute to the family, great. But you at least should be carrying your own weight, not raging at your mother because she doesn't buy you weed and serve you food first. And you're in denial. If you're having that big of a reaction and you're smoking weed every day, you got a weed problem. And you need to be honest with yourself about that.